They said, how do you feel about being name checked by Beyonce? And I was like, uh, what? Hi Vogue, I'm Lupita Nyong'o and this is my life in looks. This is 2011, Dr. Faustus Lights the Lights, a play I did at the Yale School of Drama. It was written by Gertrude Stein and I was playing Mephisto. It was directed by Liliana Blaine Cruz and it was a very intense, rehearsal process. The way Gertrude Stein works is that there's a lot of repetition in her words. There's no punctuation. We had to learn this whole play. But my suit was really fly. I, I really enjoyed that androgynous look. This time at Yale was really rich. It was intense. I mean, from morning to night, I was working on my craft. And I remember thinking, if I don't act another day after this program, I'll be good because I've done it all. I'm glad I'm still acting though. <laughs> this is Golden Globes in my Ralph Lauren red cape. It was the first dress I tried on for the Golden Globes and I loved it. It was just so bold with the cape, you know, kind of superhero-ish. Vogue actually was trying to get this dress on the cover. So it was, it was either gonna be on the cover of Vogue or on my body. I ended up trying on all sorts of other gowns, but I kept coming back to this. And in the end, it won. I am so glad I got to wear it. This is at the Academy Awards. I'm wearing Prada and I won. <laughs> I remember talking to my stylist, Michaela. She asked me how I wanted to feel on the night. And I just said, I want to feel like I'm floating because that was just how I felt at that time. I couldn't believe I was going to be attending the Academy Awards. So I wanted to feel like that. And she showed me this image of sh champagne in a glass and all the bubbles. And we used that as our inspiration for the dress. And you can see it's got specks of silver and it just feels effervescent, which was what that whole period felt like. The flow of a gown is very important to me and it really depends on what the event is and how I want to feel at that event. How you move in a gown is as important as how you look in it. When I was doing that role, Academy Award was very, very far from my mind. The only thing I wanted to do was not get fired. So I felt already very accomplished. To then be attending my first Academy Awards, being nominated my very first time and winning my very first time. I was very humbled by the idea that so much suffering in one person's life can lead to so much joy in someone else's. I'm humbled by the sacrifice of the person whose life I portrayed in order to get here. This is 2014, the NAACP Image Awards. I'm in Givenchy and it is head to toe leather. Ah uh, yeah, this dress was cool. I loved being in it. It was soft leather, you know, and it, of the pleats, I love the pleats. The fashion world aspect of my career was a surprise and nothing that I expected. It started from the beginning. I mean, my very first red carpet, I wore Prada then and the reception of me in that that white Prada gown was the beginning of my understanding of what an impact fashion has on the life of an actor. And so by this point, when I'm wearing this gown, I'd understood the assignment, let's put it that way. <laughs> and I was having fun the whole time. I still am. This is 2014, I'm at the Met Gala. This is Prada I'm in. I was thrilled to attend my first Met Gala. It was when I learned that there was something called a Met Gala. <laughs> and I really enjoyed this look. It was inspired by Josephine Baker. I wasn't supposed to wear this gown. I had a different gown that Prada had made for me. Verde Visconti, who is Mrs. Prada's right-hand person. She very strategically put this dress on a mannequin on the way to my fitting the day before the Met Gala. And so I walked in, I saw this gown, went in, tried on my dress. My dress was nice, but that was way better. And I asked, uh, who's wearing that gown? And she was like, well, I was hoping you might. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the gown for me. And so this was a surprise. My favorite memory uh, was the 
Prada squad, we all had these noisy gowns. Our gowns all had these beads. So when we were walking down, you could hear us coming from a mile away. It was like, cha, 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 cha. It was me and Gabrielle Union and Brie Larson and Sarah Polson and all our dresses were just making this noise as we went down the halls. It was very fun. Well, this is my first Vogue cover. I'm wearing Prada. I mean, my love affair with Prada. They were the first brand that supported me. They were the first fashion show I went to. The first gown I wore was Prada. And so it was very fitting that I wear Prada on the, on the cover of my first Vogue. You know, the year 2014 had so many firsts for me. And I don't think I, I could really retain what it meant for me to be on the cover with my natural hair and my dark skin. A cover of a magazine that I had seen over the years with very few people that looked like me. And there I was, you know. To be able to feature on the cover of a magazine as pivotal as Vogue is an honor. And for me, it is righting a, a wrong that I grew up with where I didn't see very many people like me on the cover of magazines. I didn't see these stamps of approval or these markers of admiration for dark-skinned women like me. And so for me to be able to do this and be that for a younger generation is very moving. And I feel very blessed to do that. Ooh, Toronto International Film Festival, the premiere of Queen of Katwe, and I'm wearing Carolina Herrera. This dress was inspired by a piece of fabric that Michaela had bought in Kenya of Ankara fabric. There wasn't enough of it. And so she brought it to the States and she shared it with Carolina Herrera and asked them to be inspired by this Ankara fabric. And so this design came from that fabric. We always try and find like a theme when we're doing a press tour. For Queen of Katwe, we were inspired by the head wrap and this particular head wrap was inspired by the Nigerian Gele and uh, Carolina Herrera made it and then Vernon Francois styled it. And so this is a piece very dear to my heart. This is a Vogue cover. This one is special to me because we shot it in Kenya. Not only did we shoot it in Kenya, we shot it in Kisumu, my ancestral homelands. This particular shot was done at the end of the day. It was like the bewitching hour, the sun was setting. We were right by the Lake Victoria. We were running out of time and this shot was right before dark. It's a very fond memory of taking Vogue to my country. So this is 2019. I'm at an Academy screening of the movie Us and I'm wearing Band Noir. Now the movie Us is a scary film. So that press tour, we were inspired by the spookier things in life. And there's also duality in the film. So we were also trying to find duality in what I wear. I love this look at the Met Gala. The theme was camp and I'm wearing Versace. We went full out. Vernon Francois, we wanted to have a really big afro and so he had this idea of putting these picks in my hair to create dimension in the afro because otherwise it's very hard to appreciate the structure of an afro. The makeup was inspired by uh, iconic drag queen Divine. The theme was more is more and as you can see it is a lot. <laughs> Oh, this is from Beyonce's music video, Brown Skin Girl, and I'm wearing Rodarte. I learned that Beyonce had name checked me in her song in an interview that I was doing in London. They said, how do you feel about being name checked by Beyonce? And I was like, uh, what? And they were like, yeah, haven't you heard? She dropped a song this morning. I was like, no, I haven't. And she reached for her iPhone to play for me. I was like, oh no, we're not gonna be doing it like that. I need proper sound system to listen to this. So I saved it for the end of the day and put it on my, my speaker and I screamed. I was so excited. And the song means so much to so many, and definitely to me, you know? Just that appreciation of, of dark complexion. We need it, we needed that song, and I thank Beyonce for it. I felt like a pixie.
Oh, and then this. Met Gala, I'm wearing Versace. And we were inspired by Versace jeans. What's more American than denim? My hair is inspired by the artist Lorna Simpson. That was Vernon's bright idea. And I just love how it feels like a cloud and very much reminds me of some of her work. All right, this is a shot from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I am here with the gorgeous, wonderful Angela Bassett. I love working with Ruth Carter because she's just a visionary when it comes to clothes and she's so specific in terms of like her color scheme and what it, story it's telling. This look was hard to finalize because it needed to be something practical but also very flattering. It needed to be something that popped from the setting. Playing Nakia has been a lot of fun and a learning experience. We have a lot in common, but she definitely has a tenacity that goes beyond me and cer certain physical skills <laughs> that I'm very happy to forget once they say it's a wrap. <laughs> to see the impact of a fictitious character on people around the world, <laughs> it cannot be underestimated. And it feels really good to have this as part of my legacy and to be a part of a group of, of artists that really care about the impact it has on African peoples around the world. I'm deeply proud. Well, that's just a snippet of my life and looks. It's been fun to share it with you, Vogue. There's more to come. Thank you.